What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Toonami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So, for this video, this is not just going to be your standard cookie cutter showcase. I know a lot of people don't tend to watch those because it's very easy to tell what it's about just by looking at the thumbnail, looking at the title. May not be as compelling, not totally box office. Now, this idea is not something that I could sustain long term just because. I don't have the funds to do that, I don't have the means to do that, but this might be a fun thing to do once in a while. So, how this is going to work is, I'm going to be jumping into a free-to-play, no-item Majin Buu Saga Super Battle Road. If I lose, I summon. If I lose, I summon. This is not going to be a single run attempt, because I'm probably going to lose at least once. I don't want this video to be like three minutes long, so I will do a second try, maybe a third one if the situation calls for it. But the idea is to go as far as we possibly can, if not win, Majibu Saga free to play, no item. I've done this before. Don't know if I've done it on the video. But I want to try it again because we got a couple new Majibu Saga units. So the, the usual suspects are here. So starting with the Candy Vegito, you got that one. You got Hercule and Boo with the EZA, very good. Saiyaman, LR, High School Go Home with his TUR, he's very, very good. Of course, the friend unit has to be Vegito, unstoppable unit. And now the two new units, this is going to be also a semi showcase again for two Majin Buu Saga free to play units. The first being the AGL Vegito. Now, this guy has a little bit of his own build as well as the Candy Vegito's build, which is actually pretty cool. So, this unit just got his TUR from the most recent World Tournament. If you guys did not participate, that's okay because if you have the unit, just simply having the game update for the new World Tournament gave you the ability to awaken this guy and he turned from this mediocre SSR to this very good TUR. This guy provides stat support for the entire team, both in his super attack as well as his passive. So, cause supreme damage, attack plus 25% for one turn for allies when he uses a super attack. Attack and defense plus 120, key plus two, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120, and great chance of evading enemies attack as the first attacker. So what that means is he has to go first, then he will gain that attack and defense plus 120% on top of the original. So he can go up to 240% on both. Then you factor in the final line of his passive, super class allies attack and defense plus 30%, that includes himself. So that's 270% attack and defense after having made the first attack in the first slot. That is insane. So I wanna see how well this guy can do, plus the great chance of evading enemies attacks is basically emblematic of the Candy Vegito. So I wanna see how this unit can do in that first slot, and this is gonna make this very difficult, and because we're doing no items. So, a free-to-play no item run is usually very difficult to do. With this added unit in there, and I'm trying to be, you know, running this guy on the first slot, it's gonna be even more challenging. So, the odds of me doing a couple summons are very likely, and some of you may wanna see that. This is how I'm gonna spice up this video, and let me know in the comments if you guys like this idea. If you do, I'll try to implement this moving forward for other videos. I can't do it for every single one, just because, like I said, I don't have the funds, the means to do that. It's just not, good for my channel to do it all the time because that would just leave me high and dry with no stones left and then I would be screwed for the for the actual banners. And then the other unit that we're going to be showcasing or trying to anyway is the brand new free to play LR. Haven't seen too many videos on this, but this guy finally made it made their way to Dokkan on the global side. We've been waiting for this unit for so long and now that he's here, we don't even care about it, which is kind of funny. But this unit is a Majin Buu Saga key plus 3 130% lead. For the free to play, you can get this unit from the battlefield. So you got to do the ultimate clash, get the currency, buy the unit. Causes colossal damage to the enemy and seal super attack. Ultra super causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Then, on top of that, the passive. Unfortunately, the passive is a little. I feel like the the passive was a bit of a miss, but let's read it anyway. Key plus three attack and defense plus eighty eight percent plus an additional key plus three. Attack and defense plus 40% when the enemy target is an attack down or defense down status. Basically, this will happen all the time, so full potential realized in that regard. Plus an additional key plus 3 and high chance of performing a critical hit when the enemy target is stunned or the enemy's super attack is sealed. Again, more status effect means more options, more power. That's how that works. The final, the final line though, Majin Power Category Allies, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%. So what's funny is I actually mistook this unit to be a Majin Power unit but he's not. So, this is strictly a support for other units, obviously Majin Power, which means when you're running this team, Majin Buu Saga, you gotta be running an extreme team. You can't be running this guy with a bunch of good guys because then that Majin Power passive is completely gone. 
And that's kind of what's happening here. But the alternative was to use the Thousand Day Goku, which I don't have. This guy provides an extra 30% for all three stat lines. So I feel like even though his passive is going to be kind of useless at the, like, the, the last part, I feel like he will be... He'll still have a place on the team. So I want to see how this exact team does on Super Battle Road. No item, free to play. And like I said, if I fail, I will summon. And I will summon right away because this is a single take. There's no editing. There's none of that stuff. There's just you, me, Super Battle Road, and possibly summons. So I got to be as careful as I possibly can here because I don't want to, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be in trouble because it's, it's, it's not going to be good. So let's go after uh, the physical guy first. The Vegito obviously is going to be leading the way with most of the damage. Um, I guess we'll have Candy Vegito brace for impact and maybe go after Vegeta. It's it's kind of hard to uh, it's kind of hard to decide which unit I want to keep around, which one I don't, because all three of these units are very good. So I feel like having Candy Vegito with Patara Vegito will be good because Lynx. And uh, one unit can stun, one unit can tank, one unit can dodge. You know, there's a lot going around. The high school Gohan is a great tank, a great support. I might have to shuffle him onto the other rotation, if that. Because we actually have some pretty heavy hitters on the free-to-play side. This category is one of the better categories for free-to-play. So I'm actually thinking we have a decent chance at doing this. All right, so we've already stunned the guy. So him stunning here is kind of useless. But look at that. We're at full health, basically. That's pretty good. Um, all right, so we got no links. Okay, so yeah, uh, the Deborah Babidi, <laughs> they're, they're not, they're not doing so hot. Uh, and we are about to take some damage, which does bother me, but I think, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and have Vegito go first because I just, I want him to use his, his setup. I want him to set up the team. So I feel like. I feel like this will be good. Um, as far as lowering attack and defense, oh my god, never mind. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Um, I, <laughs> I might be done. This is a free-to-play, no item attempt. That might be the nail in the coffin. Although this is going to be the third turn coming up, so maybe the Vegeta will save us. Actually, I feel like the Vegito can't save us, because the Vegito will heal. Oh, and we can seal too! Yes, 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 we're fine. Wait, hang on, when do you transform? When does the active skill take place? Uh, fourth turn. Aw, oh, man. Fourth turn. Alright, so... The the Goku is sealed. Uh, the Vegeta's not. And we are facing extinction. Pretty much. Pretty much facing extinction. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um... All right, so let's have the Candy Vegito go first. Candy Vegito can go for the stun on the Vegeta. And then Vegito can go after Goku again. And let's just see if we can, uh, you know, maybe not die. All right, so everything has to go right here. Candy Vegito has to stun Vegito. That's just, that's just a must. It has, it has to. Because if he doesn't, even if we killed the Goku, there's no way to stop the Vegeta from attacking the Saiyan at the end. And we're going to lose. Yeah, that's that's probably the end. All right, all right. It was it was a good it was a good first attempt. I'm actually not too upset with that. So, looks like I will be summoned. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe. No, no, no. We're still. Yeah, I'm still gonna have to summon. We have like 160. Oh, a 59. Uh, we still have 100k. I don't know how we can. No, we can't. Yeah, we, we can't, we can't. Alright, so I, I'll be summoning once, uh, and then I will try this again. I will try this again. 56k. Alright, there we go. So, there goes the uh, the first attempt. So, let's jump over to the banner. A deal's a deal. I will summon, and uh, I don't need this guy anymore, thankfully. Thanks to the Periodic Collab. If you guys did not see my collab with Periodic, make sure to check that out. Because uh, that was where, spoiler alert, I got my Frieza. So, yeah, go check it out, why don't you? So this is punishment for the free-to-play no-item attempt, the first one. I will do one more. Oh, hold on. Wait, what did we have? We had Gohan, we had Trunks, and Chiaotzu. Yeah, this is nothing. 
So we'll just uh, fast forward through this right now. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. All right, let's go back. So one more attempt. That was pretty good, though. We got really unlucky with that one attack from the Vegito because, of course, RNG is built that way. RNG is meant to make my life a nightmare. But that would have been that would have been great. That would have been really good. The, the the one thing I'm very happy about with the team is that the stats were actually respectable for free to plays. It's not it's not you know too often that you get to see that. But the fact that their stats were actually respectable uh, gives me confidence for this team moving forward. This can totally be done. Totally be done. Like right here, this is actually not too bad, and I'm okay with that. So let's just have. Vegito try to murder <laughs> Goku. I feel like that could work. Uh, and then we'll have Gohan. We'll try to have Gohan stun the Vegeta. Vegeta is probably going to do some damage on my Bobby Deborah, which we don't want. So, yeah. Okay. And look at that. Bobby Deborah can't even use their super attack. So, we do have a slight issue here, but. Okay, they're both attack. This is actually great. This is great. If they're going to attack Vegito, we can survive because he tanks 30%. And uh, I'd rather it be him than any of the other ones because even though the Gohan has 58% damage reduction, that's relative to the amount of defense, right? So if you have really low defense but a really high damage reduction, it's going to even out and you're still going to take some damage, right? It's kind of like how the Go Tanks and the Trunks, the new TUR, the Tech, Trunks, and the... Wait, no, not Go Tanks. Go Tank. Yeah, the STR Super Saiyan Goten and the Tech Super Saiyan Trunks, those two um, have the same sort of premise, right? They have high damage reduction, but low base defense. Same with Kale Berserk with that EZA. Same, same deal. Wow. Um, man, I can't even afford to... I really wanted to show off the AGL Vegito, but I guess that didn't work. Um, okay. Let's try to stun Vegeta. Let's hope two dodges take place before that. And then we'll have our Vegito do nothing. Wow, this is a disaster. <laughs> if I can be quite honest, this is a horrible, horrible, horrible thing we have going on here because I have now wasted about 15 minutes of my life not even being able to showcase either one. Oh, not being able to showcase either of the free to play units, really. Because of all the units on the team, the two that are doing the least are the Vegito and the Bobbity. Like that's just how it is. So I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not digging this video so far. But you know what? There are some extra stakes. Hopefully that makes the video spicy enough for you. I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Hold on a minute, <laughs> what? Uh, okay, Vegeta stunned. So if we do that, and then we stun the Goku, we will somehow make it out of this turn. That's, that's crazy. That's, that is, wow. Okay, all right. <laughs> let's see, let's see how this goes. Looks like I'll be summoning a second time. Will it be a third time? This is actually pretty fast. I uh, might be doing this a third time. Come on, kill him, kill him. Yes, yes. If we can kill Goku, and then the stun actually works on the Vegeta, we can stun lock. Mm. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, take him out, and then attack again. Attack again. Atta oh, no. Vegeta's gonna unstun next turn. We're not... Okay, maybe he has to... Okay, no, no, no. We still have a chance, we still have a chance. Candy Vegeta will dodge, right? Candy Vegeta will dodge, and then he'll attack and then stun. So we're actually okay. We're actually okay. I would be so down for this video to end with uh, Free to Play making this massive comeback. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? We're going to ride or die with the AGL Vegito. I'm telling you right now. All right, so this is how it works. He's going to attack. He's going to give the team a boost. Then he's going to gain 70% dodging. So look at his stats right now. 214. This is really good for a Free to Play. 214, so 214,000, 86,000, all right? Then we'll have the Candy Vegito go second. He will stun, and that's all she wrote. This is how it ends. No, this is how it continues. This is not how it ends. So with that attack, 
All systems are go, and he, okay, he gets the additional, and he dodges. And he doesn't dodge. Okay, he didn't dodge, but somehow we survived that, which is probably the crazy part. You know what? The reason why we survived was literally because of the AGL Vegito's passive. And we, neither one of the 70% dodging just took place. Neither one. We gotta summon again. That really just happened. That really just happened. I, uh, this is a single take, I gotta keep it together, but that really just happened. So, trust me guys, usually those stupid Vegitos do dodge at 70% clip, okay? Didn't happen there because, you know, the game wants to make things as difficult as they possibly can for me. And I'm, I'm a little salty about it, but I will get over it. You know what? You can make this up for me, make this up to me by giving me a Frieza. If you give me a Frieza, all is forgiven. Oh, Kefla's rainbowed. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Actually, everybody here is rainbowed. So honestly, this banner's probably a bad idea. If I were to do that again, what banner would I summon on? There is no banner I could... I mean, I guess theoretically it would be the... No, I, I can't. I can't summon on any... Well, yeah. Other <laughs> other World Warriors, maybe. Or maybe a World Tournament summon. You know what? We're, we're going to end it there, because I'm, I'm probably going to blow a fuse if, if that happens again, where a 70% chance doesn't dodge. So, uh, there you have it, folks. This uh, complete disaster of a video idea has ended with two summons. Two failures and two summons. Hopefully you understood the idea behind it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was a single take, so obviously it can be better with edits and all that stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more of this in the future. Because if this does, you know, if this does appeal to you guys, then I would obviously add edits and do this in a more, you know, production budget friendly way. So thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. Have you tried this free-to-play Majibu Saga team? Because it's actually pretty good. We got, we, we, we made some good moves there without items, right? So with items, that would have been a piece of cake. I could have done it here, but you know, I wanted to try out this video. So let me know your thoughts on the category for free to play in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know you wanna see what we're gonna stop doing. Thanks again, stay tuned. I hate 70% chance to dodge right now. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly. I'm not salty. I'm not. I'm not salty. I'm not salty.